any comments questions clarifications silence means that everything is clearly understood or nothing is understood <laughs> where are we yeah. yes our newspaper giants hindu and times of india their online versions we serve is the printed uh, media so what is the status now because everyone each one was a comfortable reading uh, hindu or times early morning okay the, we need to feel the print so now that you are saying that social media is taking away so what will be the future and present status well you know there, there are there are people who who would like to you know uh, have a feel of it you know the touch um, but i think slowly and slowly that will pass that will pass um, many people are really taking to the digital versions um, or they are striking a balance for instance if uh, somebody was buying say about six newspapers or four newspapers um, now probably they would buy one just to get the feel of it and the rest three or four or five they are they are looking at the digital versions and in india most of the newspapers are free on the on the on the net you know you, you, some of them some very few of them are you know uh, they they lock certain important articles unless you are a subscriber they are, they don't open but most of them are the, and some of them for instance the hindu you can have a look at the newspaper the entire newspaper but you can't share it if you are a subscriber you can share it you know they are they are placing a little bit of um uh, restrictions on it but otherwise um people are slowly getting used to it you know i personally speaking um i would like to you know have a feel of it you know, because that's the, the this is the generation gap you know youngsters probably will will only look at and most of the people are not reading newspapers let's be very clear about it many people are not reading newspapers they they are looking at for instance you know when when we looked at the data earlier when i was looking at the landscape of uh, social media a lot of people are relying on twitter feed for news and you know i experimented with kindle i bought a kindle and then uh, read some uh, uh, books on kindle downloaded bought but you know if, if somebody wants i can give it away and i i pushed it aside and i i really enjoy you know holding a book and you know uh, writing something underlining etc etc uh, but you know uh, the next generation i don't think uh, people would they i was very excited when i bought the kindle you know i could carry uh, 100 1500 books you know in a small slim uh, kind of a device but then the charm wore away for me Yes, you are saying something. I am Navroz, and uh, yeah. I just want to uh, update you that there is a very interesting bucking of the trend in India. Uh, India is, I think, the only country in the world where newspaper sales have actually gone up in the last five years. Times of India, Hindustan Times, and more importantly, surprisingly, the vernacular papers, whether it's the Jagrans and the Bhaskars and the Malayalam Manoramas, they've actually grown. and not marginal you know just holding their numbers but actually grown and what is interesting is that they've somehow managed to bring in a younger reader into the process so it was very easy yes uh, all over the world even news big shut down and uh, went into a you know a digital platform so there are a number of cases all over the world where print has definitely been hit very badly but surprisingly india has been Bucking the trend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Prabhakar. Gar. Excellent uh, presentation and really gave us a uh, lot of insights from the beginning. I have a question for you. Uh, nowadays, many people are using this word digital marketing a lot. They try to uh, collect some money and search engine optimization, Google words, AdWords. 
and i don't know that's it. many people that my friends also they started they selected some digital marketing expert but they're not happy with the results and the kind of business that i'm getting and i use lot of social media platform to promote my healthcare business personally i do myself on facebook and all on whatsapp i am using at my personal level not at a professional level so is you do you feel that there is a expert like the right folio with add value we are ready to pay any money because by paying money if i am getting my profit why not i will definitely you ready to share but if all my competitors are also using the same again in the competition where do we end up so is it viable spending money on digital marketing or is it better to do it on our own i have this question you see i know how to drive you know i have driven in most of the countries in the world but i have a driver you might ask me why do you have a driver i can drive but it's it's an opportunity cost in the sense that you know instead of me driving i sit and you know maybe give you a call and talk and you know maybe send a message or look up something etc etc that that particular time also would be my working time i i get into the car and i don't these days these days especially um you know the the minute i get into the car i am in the office even before i reach office isn't it that that's one so if you are doing 10 things and and you're also doing social media you know uh, outreach for your product or for your company um maybe if there is somebody you can ask them to do it and uh, you know you can do uh, another which is more um uh, more rewarding for you know either your personal um uh, thing or your 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 commercial or your uh, um, your your professional thing that that's one and secondly expertise is any time expertise of course there are there are so many quacks and there are so many uh, people who would uh, you know tell you seo and, and things like that you see i my my take on this is there are there are there are there are text for instance even without doing an seo they become popular i mean i don't think shakespeare did an seo to become shakespeare isn't it shakespeare there are innate strengths but definitely we are all not shakespeares definitely a professional help surely you know helps um and of course you need to you know see who can deliver and you know in this the beauty of this is that it is it is measurable you will see what 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 is happening i mean nobody can uh, come and tell you look i have done a great job but you know uh, there are no not many followers popular people are not looking at there are no engagements you you can't really bluff in this that is one the second thing is these days it is it is important for you to understand when to you know update a message you know for instance there is there is an important message from my company and the the whole uh, uh, business establishment in this country is looking at yesterday's budget for instance no at that time if i upload something now as an individual probably because i am free then i would upload it but as a professional i would say don't do that do it at 8 o'clock or do it tomorrow something like that so there are certain decisions there are certain things and there are of course you know what kind of a creative you put up what kind of a text you um, compose and what kind of a font you use what kind of a color do you use and what what platforms do you select so for instance looking at the 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 the, the atom world for instance you don't advertise a mercedes benz on the back of an auto rickshaw do you you don't do that there is a platform for it in fact you 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 don't you don't advertise at at all some products they don't advertise at all 
I don't know. I don't remember seeing an Apple iPhone being advertised by iPhone by Apple. The service providers might advertise. Look, you buy Airtel connection. You know, Airtel advertises uh, iPhone, and somebody else, uh, Vodafone advertises Apple. But Apple on its own does. But Apple has a huge ad spend. I don't know what they spend on. They spend on these. Okay. So professional help is is important. So good afternoon. Yeah. I have a question for you. I'm a journalism. I've been a journalism student, and that's why this question. Uh, somewhere with the invasion of uh, social media and internet, it is believed that the credibility of news and has been lost. Okay, so does this mean that because we are saying that uh, newspapers will lose their charm, already I feel half of it has lost. So will it be like we are having a future where there, there will be no credible news? Will it because today anything and everything becomes news because of the the increasing pressure of having extra news, extra TRPs, etc. So does this mean that we will have like I stop believing in news personally, and does this mean that my kids will will not even know that there is something good to learn from in news um, <clears throat> i think what you are hinting at is what's called fake news isn't it yes yeah. yes in other words it's fake news there are so many fake news um, that's the downside of the internet and the social media of course, you see, um, how do we use a platform? And is there a way to prevent the misuse and abuse of a platform? That's, that's a totally different uh, you know, uh, um, area that we are going into. Because you are in communications, in journalism, in reporting, anything that is put up by anybody is one thing. Anything that is put up by a credible handle or a credible site or a credible account is another thing. Even in uh, even in in the mainstream media, there are so many publications. But over the years, what happens is those publications that cannot command respectability, credibility, they fall off. Now, social media is just about 12 years old, isn't it? It's just about 2007, 2006, 2002, 2008. This is the genesis of social media. Now we are in 2019, just said 2018, okay. just about say 11 years. In 11 years and the spurt of social media usage, especially for news and the kind of reach and the kind of penetration is only during the last four or five years mostly. And the number of uh, hours people spend, you know, again, it, 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 uh, it, it uh, varies from region to region. For instance, um, you know, uh, Japanese, average time that Japanese spend on internet, I'm not talking, talking, about, talking about the social media, the entire internet, it could be browsing, it could be reading, it could be newspaper, it could be anything, is 36 minutes per day. In the Philippines, it is almost about four and a half hours per day. So there's a huge variation. So the, the, the number of people and the number of hours that you spend and on what sites do you spend? And if you if slowly people get to know that this 
is only a sensational account this is only uh, an account that is that is there to slander some people slander some political ideology slander some leaders slander some organizations i i think it it will slowly die its own death so i think we we just need to because it, you know because it's so powerful overwhelming that you know uh, we we feel as though it's it's there for ages no it's not there for ages it's just there for you know 11 years and effectively it's there only for about say 4 or 5 years say in 2009 have you heard a, a political party or a political leader a, a, a newspaper um, on on uh, twitter or on 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 facebook no social media hardly played a role in 2009 in 2014 it played a significant role now from 2014 till now uh, the landscape has changed dramatically because there's so many you know uh, handles have come up fake handles have come up anonymous uh, handles have come up because there is in internet there is also a possibility of being anonymous you know unless the huge research goes into and finds out which is which ip address etc etc people do not know you know who is uh, calling you you know names and who is abusing you who are these etc etc so but it will i think there is there's a huge possibility of self correction in this thank you very much thanks uh